Brett Weinstein is about to teach you a very powerful lesson in personal development, and he really didn't mean to do it. He does it in a freedom of speech rant. I'm Coach Colin. This is episode 1919 of the Joe Rogan Experience, and if you want the absolute best insights to the podcast you love, you've come to the right place. Now smash the subscribe button. Let's get into it. This clip right here is about freedom of speech, but, and he talks about how zero is a very powerful, special number. And when I heard this, I applied it to personal development in a way that only I could do. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I'm more interested really in this phenomenon of people leaving Twitter. Yeah. So, um, on, on Dark Horse, we've talked about a concept that I call zero is a special number. And the idea of zero is a special number is that this narrative control would not work if there was even one newspaper that was dedicated to the job of reporting the news. It wouldn't work if there was even one university that was dedicated to finding what the truth might be, right? It doesn't work if there's one social media platform in a primary uh, position in which free speech reigns. Because in any of these cases, if you had the university that was still interested in truth-seeking in an era where everybody else was doing their uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion thing, every reasonable person would want to send their kid there, right? So it would win in competition almost immediately, and the result would be every other institution would have to change their policy to compete. So if you get even one exception, that's enough to break this pattern. So what Elon Musk is doing is actually fighting to make Twitter into that single exception. And the structure that is controlling the narrative understands that it cannot endure that. And so far, it has failed to shut down Elon. So their next move is actually to get people on one side of this debate to leave so that they can't prevent Twitter from being a space where people can speak freely, but they can take it out of the position of being a primary uh, social media environment. And in so doing, they will take the number of meaningful exceptions to the free speech control to back to zero. That's what they're up to. Mm. So anyway, I'm... I don't think that's a... Oh, we got internet now? This is such a wonderful insight. And I love how it's about uh, free speech. So I can kind of just let that stand. You know, Brett Weinstein, brilliant guy. And what he said is very, very true. But when I heard that, what comes to mind right away is the tribe, the, the tribe of people, um, like a group of people. Yo, zero is a powerful number. When you, when you, decide that you're going to, you know, I talk a lot about, you know, breaking free, you know, some people call it the matrix. I just call it like, you know, breaking free from, from society's normalization of, of you not doing the thing that's on your heart. I really want to normalize people going after their dreams, doing what they're meant to do, pursuing that thing in the face of all odds. And what comes to mind with this is zero is a powerful number. And when you're in a tribe, when you're in a group of people and you decide to be that one person that is going to start working out or is going to start a business or is going to you know, start a YouTube channel, is going to do the thing that you feel like you're here to do, all of a sudden, like it's so true, it, the tribe and their narrative, let's just say they're a bunch of fat slobs. And I used to be 350 pounds, so I can say that. Um... <laughs> Just like if I just started saying the N-word right now, like you can't really argue with me. Like, you know what I mean? It's part of that tribe, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but the whole tribe, like you be that, you become that one. And all of a sudden, the narrative of we don't have to work out, we don't have to exercise, we don't have to change, all of a sudden, that's now in question because one of us says, yeah, I think I do actually, Right? And then the tribe has no choice, just like he's talking about these companies, these, these, these institutions. The tribe has no choice but to either pull you back in to their way of thinking 
or they have to remove themselves from you or remove you from their vicinity so they can go back to zero, zero people questioning, zero people pursuing whatever it is that you were on the way to pursuing, zero people standing out, zero people thinking differently because zero is such a powerful number, right? And then you become the one, right? You become the... Uh, kind of back to the matrix, but like you become that one, that one person that decided that you're going to just work out, that you're going to trudge through this difficult task of, you know, losing weight, starting the business, you know, pursuing your artistic, your artistic endeavors, whatever it is, but you're just that one. And, and it's maybe that's why that song exists. One is the loneliest number. Maybe, is that what that song's about? One is the loneliest number. I should actually look up the words to that song. But now you're just by yourself, right? And if you can, it's, it's so funny because how many times have you seen that or how many times have you experienced that where you're in this group of people, maybe they're not the best people, maybe you're not living the greatest life and then you have to break away. You have to disassociate yourself from these people because they're just, they're, maybe they're not the best people, maybe they're just not on the same path as you, but then you break away and you're just the one. You know, you're by yourself, you're rebuilding. How many times have you met someone and, you, and they're like, I don't even, I barely even have any friends. And that's usually the case because they change so much that all of the people that they used to hang around, their tribe just fell away, decided to leave them, right? And you become this one. And if you can trudge through long enough, and this is where I go back to the, you know, tribe, when I'm always talking about finding your tribe, you know, being where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated, finding your iron that rubs off on you, being that match that finds the brown strip of people that lights you up. When all of a sudden, if you can trudge through being the one long enough, one will eventually turn to two, right? And then you have that one friend who's kind of on the same path, kind of gets where you're coming from, you know, is into that kind of stuff too. And then eventually, because now two is even more powerful, you know, you're moving, you got momentum. Now all of a sudden it becomes three, you know, and then after a while it becomes four, you know, and now you got a little group of guys who are all on the same page. You know, we all work out. We all read every day. We all are, are calling each other on each other's shit. We're, we're like a little tribe. We start to grow. We start to change. We start to lose weight, whatever it is, you know? So, so to what Brett was saying, zero is a powerful number because zero is what keeps everybody in check. Zero people thinking outside the box lets the tribe just go, lets the tribe just go the way the tribe's going to go. Zero people, zero people trying to exercise just allows this group of people to stay the same. Zero people trying to start businesses just allows this group to stay the same. Zero people trying to become artists or do anything that's outside the box just allows this group to be the same. Zero is a powerful number, but an even more powerful number, an even more special number is one. And if you have to be that one, go and be that one and just get through it long enough until you find that two and that three and that four and that five it will be worth it it's lonely as number one for a while as the one person you know you just lost your whole tribe of people it's lonely for a little while but if you can just get through it and don't go back to what's what's familiar don't go back to what's familiar just get through it long enough and your life is going to be so much better so much better, so much more rewarding, so much more celebrated. I, I, I love that. Zero is a powerful number, but even more powerful is the power of one, of being that decision, that being that decision, being that one person that says, I'm going to change. You know? Anyway, what Brett still stands, what Brett said still stands about, uh, you know, freedom of speech and everything, you should kind of really take that thought process in as well. But I just wanted to say that that's what came to mind for me. All right, I'm out. Peace.